Episode 7 of Scott Pilgrim takes off begins the moment when Scott gets grabbed into the vacant portal at the Rocket Club. He wrestles with a masked individual while traveling through time. They arrive in the future, and the masked person reveals he's Scott's future self. Old Scott and Scott arrive at future Scott's home. While they traverse it, Old Scott tells Scott he ends up defeating the League of Evil Exes, but finds their victory to be the biggest mistake of his life. Old Scott allows Scott to use his virtual goy, virtual boy parody device, to peer into his future. Scott learns about the other League members, his marriage with Ramona, and how it all led to their divorce. Old Scott shows Scott his band equipment and tells him he formed a band with the Kate and Aji twins. Scott notices Wallace's belongings are in the home and meets Old Wallace. Old Wallace tries to tell Scott the truth about their relationship, but Old Scott stops him. After this debacle, Old Wallace asks Old Scott why Scott's in his home. Old Scott says he asked the twins to let him use Old Robot 01 to travel in time. Scott learns Old Scott planned to prevent him from defeating the evil exes, thus stopping him from dating Ramona. Old Scott shares his grievances with Ramona, but Scott suggests he work things out with Old Ramona. Additionally, he wants Old Scott to give him intel on how he can make things work with his Ramona to prevent the divorce from happening. Old Scott throws a fit for Scott assuming he's the one to blame for his relationship with Ramona to end the way it did. Scott discusses his situation with Old Robot 01 and recalls seeing him at the rocket event. Old Robot 01 confirms he's always recording events as they happen. Scott uses this opportunity to peer into the past to see what happened after Old Scott kidnapped him. Meanwhile, we see Old Ramona delivering Netflix DVDs to customers. Old Wallace and regular Scott visit Old Ramona at her home. Old Ramona knew Old Scott would commit an act like this, so she hands Scott one of Neil's memoirs. Old Ramona said she kept this book, so Scott had a way to learn of their history together. Old Ramona confirms she traveled to the past and is the one who left the screenplay on Neil's desk. She believes her efforts were futile since the movie turned out to be a failure. However, regular Scott thinks otherwise and informs her about present Ramona's effort to save him. After hearing Scott through, old Ramona helps him return to the past to inform Ramona and the others about what happened. In the present, Ramona meets her older self, and Kim takes pictures of them together before she departs. Scott apologizes to Knives for not telling her about Ramona and says it was unwise of him to date a high schooler like her. Knives says she's glad he perished since it gave her a chance to reflect as a person. Ramona and Scott attempt to kiss each other, but something's preventing them from smooching. Scott wonders if he has to fight her exes still. Despite their dilemma, Knife says all of Ramona's exes may be attending the Broadway musical they set up. After all the exes show up to the musical, Ramona, Scott, and the others follow them. The episode closes with them entering the establishment and getting ready to pull off a phenomenal show. The episode review. This episode takes You Are Your Own Worst Enemy to heart by revealing that Scott's future self is responsible for Scott's fabricated demise. Not only that, but it appears old Ramona had a hand to play to ruining her former lover's sabotaging shenanigans. By and large, this episode gives viewers decent closure on the who, what, when, where and why behind Scott's disappearance. At the same time, it was nice getting to follow Scott again. Although his spiritual presence carried throughout its run, many fans missed seeing him physically interact with his friends and Ramona's exes. Hopefully, he'll pull off an incredible final act that'll make up for his lack of screen time in this anime adaptation. That said, many of the emotional scenes involving Scott don't carry much impact. Although longtime fans can overlook this, many newcomers going into this adaptation would have loved to see Scott undergo emotional gradual change throughout the story like in the comic and live-action versions of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Nonetheless, it's great to have him back and I'm excited to see what he'll do to fulfill his destiny with Ramona. Overall, this was a satisfying episode to watch, and I'm interested to see how it all wraps up.